Hey guys, thanks for stopping by to check out our video inventory update. Uh, we got a new saltwater shipment, beautiful stuff just came in. Uh, take a look at it now. Here we've got a really nice uh, purple, uh, pink square anthias. Uh, this guy's about four and a half, five inches. Uh, good community fish, they like reef tanks as well. These are uh, all males, I got a few of them in, these are all males. Uh, really nice fish, good community fish, not aggressive and relatively hardy. Uh, nice uh, Fiji coral beauty here, good size on her, about uh, three and a half inches or so. Very nice fish, another good community fish, um, and uh, usually can go in a reef tank as well. Here we've got some uh, royal gramas. Uh, I got three of those that came in. Nice uh, community fish, excellent for smaller like nano type environments as well. Very good uh, hardy fish, excellent for starters. Really nice uh, green chromis. Uh, these are a type of damsel, non-aggressive. These guys are good size; they're about two inches. Um, nice, nice schooling fish as well. You can see they like to stay kind of in a clump there. Um, good for reef tanks or fish-only tanks, either or, and those are nice and hardy as well. Here we got some nice medium-sized black and white heniocus butterflies. Uh, another good uh, community fish, uh, not typically recommended in a reef tank. They will eat uh, coral polyps, things like that. But a uh, really cool fish, uh, also known as a banner fish. Behind them there is a bicolor angel, another good dwarf angel variety for uh, fish-only or reef tanks. He's about three and a half inches. Really nice. Uh, Red Sea Asper Angel, uh, that guy's about four inches right now. Um, beautiful fish, does well in a fish only tank uh, or a tank with just live rock, not recommended with the corals, um, as they will pick at those. Um, really cool fish, they get about uh, 12 to 18 inches when they're full grown if you got a big enough tank. Very cool fish though, not one you see very often. Um, and a nice uh, pink square Antheus. And up here we've got a nice uh, juvenile Karan Angel, he's also about four inches. About the same as the Asper as far as uh, community goes. You don't want to keep them in a reef tank. They will uh, nibble at corals and stuff like that, anemones. Um, there's also an Eblii angel behind him. Behind out there, you can kind of see him there. Eblii angel, uh, another dwarf angel variety. Very cool fish. Uh, does well in a reef or fish only tank. And he's about three and a half inches. Uh, and here, got another nice uh, coral beauty there. Another purple, uh, pink Scoranthus. And then hiding up behind the coral, there we got a Lineatus tank. Um, clown tang, also really good uh, community fish, does very well in a reef tank as well, excellent for keeping nuisance algae under control. We got some Fiji Devil Damsels, um, these guys are about two inches, good size on these, and uh, fairly non-aggressive as far as damsels go, and will do well in a community or a reef aquarium. Uh, another purple, uh, pink square antis there, and we also got some nice large yellow tangs. Uh, yellow tangs are uh, very popular, good hardy variety, and uh, will do well in the reef or fish only aquarium. Here we've got some nice uh, blue damsels, standard blue damsels. These guys are excellent starter fish, very hardy, and uh, also will do well in either reef or fish only tanks. Uh, spotted sweet lips here. These guys are about three and a half, three to three and a half inches. Uh, good community fish, they get relatively large, semi aggressive, they'll eat smaller stuff they can fit in their mouth. They do well uh, with a semi aggressive tank with triggers, things like that typically, or an official only tank as long as there's nothing small enough for bee. And a nice Ariga butterfly there, he's about four inches. Another good uh, fish only aquarium and another uh, clown tank there. And also some nice um, neon velvet damsels. Uh, nice, vel uh, excuse me, nice uh, variety of damsels. These guys get a uh, pretty good size. They get about four inches when they're full grown. Um, good in a reef or uh, fish only aquarium, and semi aggressive. Uh, over here, let's see, you got another nice uh, pink square anthes and then some beautiful uh, neon yellow damsels. These are one we haven't seen before. Really good size in these. They're about four or five inches. Um, great for a larger tank. Will do well with uh, more aggressive stuff as well. Very cool fish. Nice, uh, nice spot of color. And let's see, over here we got a nice uh, medium sized black lion, black voltan lion. Uh, he's about five inches. Also a nice big uh, Hawaiian nasotang. Also got in some beautiful varieties of anemones. We got uh, a couple sea bays in, some long tentacles, um, a retiri there. There's also some condylactis, common anemones there. And over in the invert department. Nice cleaner shrimp, uh, excellent for keeping your fish clean, taking off parasites and also helping keep the tank clean. They like to eat uh, junk off the bottom and on the rocks and stuff. A couple nice scooter boinies, you know, about three inches on those guys. There's an arrow crab there. Uh, arrow crabs do a good job keeping things clean as well as occasionally they'll eat uh, nuisance stuff such as uh, bristle worms. Here we got a nice uh, lemon peel angel, he's about three inches. 
another dwarf angel variety that does well in uh, fish only or reef tanks. Uh, there's a blue reef lobster hiding out in the rocks there. You can see his antennas coming out. Uh, brown sea hairs. Let's see if I can find one. They blend in pretty good. There's one up in the rock. Excellent for uh, controlling hair algae. These guys do a fabulous job um, keeping the rocks and stuff clean in a reef aquarium. Over here, we got a nice uh, strawberry basslet there. About two and a half inches on that guy. Here we got some Bangai Cardinals, very cool fish, uh, do well in a nano and reef type of environment. Um, they like to school, they like to stay held together, very cool. Um, there's also Flame Angel sticking his head out, there you can see him, Flame Angel there. Another Dwarf Angel variety, does really well in uh, reef or community tanks. Another Arrow Crab there. Let's see, some nice Firefish Gobies. Another uh, good nano or reef aquarium fish. These guys uh, are about full grown, about three and a half inches or so. And uh, they do really well and like to stay in a group as well. Down here we've got, let's see if I can find one. There's some, oh, I was hiding out in the coral. There's a six line ras there. You can see them. Nice fish. Uh, does well in the nano tanks or reef tanks. They only get about two and a half, three inches when they're full grown. Very cool fish. And those will also help pick at some stuff you don't want, uh, flatworms, chrysworms, things like that. Over here we've got a Potter's, there he is, Potter's Angel. Uh, similar to like a flame or the Roman Peel, Dwarf Angel variety do well in uh, reef or fish only aquariums. Also got some Nasarius snails uh, back here. Yep, a bunch of Nasarius snails. Excellent uh, detritus eaters. These guys do a great job keeping the sand bed and stuff clean. And also a really nice uh, common stingray. He's pretty good size, about as big around as like a volleyball. Um, very cool as well, obviously, with um, other sharks, skates, rays, things like that. Um, sometimes you can get away with them in a, in a tank of fish, just depends what you got. You gotta be careful stuff. Sometimes I like to pick at them, so gotta be a little bit careful about that. Alright, guys, if you see anything you like, give us a call 414 546 2201. We'd be happy to put on hold for you. Thanks for checking out again, and have a great day.